did you know that sun this Sunday is July 19th and it's National Ice Cream Day? I didn't know that. I'd love to go get ice cream, but right now we can't. We'll just have to buy ice cream and eat it at home. I think so. If not, we can make our own ice cream. You can't make your own ice cream without a machine or something. Yes, you can. I can prove it to you. How? We'll make ice cream right now. Really? Really. With stuff we have at the library? Yes. Definitely. All right, let's try it. All right. So these are the materials you're going to need for your ice cream. You're going to need a large sealable baggie, a small sealable baggie, half a cup of whole milk, but you can also substitute it for non-dairy. So almond milk or coconut milk, depends on what you like to eat at home. I've seen recipes with hazelnut milk. Then one tablespoon of sugar, half a teaspoon of vanilla, and six tablespoons of rock salt, which kind of comes into it in the container like this. Yeah. You can use regular salt. If you don't have rock salt, you just might need a little bit more of it. And lastly, you're going to need ice. All right, so first step. Step one is pour the milk into the smaller bag. So you might need help. Yeah. Like this. And pour the milk into the bag. Then you're adding your sugar and your vanilla. So you can add as much or as little as you'd like ultimately if you like it really sweet or really vanilla-y. It's up to you. Here goes the sugar. That's the sugar. Vanilla. We like a little bit more vanilla than recommended, but that's fine. And then we're going to seal this up really well. Make sure to get all the air out. Yep, as much as possible. So this is what we're going to make the ice cream put into. This is going to be ice cream in that. Yes. All right, what's the next step? Next step, just to be safe, we're going to put this small baggie into this larger bag. But before you do, just make sure to mix up your mixture a little bit. All right. We're going to put in this big baggie. All right. And then you put this aside after you've sealed it, gotten the air out. Just leave it aside for a minute. So next step is our ice. Yeah. So there's about four cups of ice in here. You're going to add six tablespoons of your salt. So now, this is rock salt. It's yeah. a little chunkier. Yeah. We put it in this box because it's easier to stir and it won't kind of leak everywhere. You can do this just in bags at home. Just it might make a mess when the ice starts melting. Okay, so we're going to put that in there. All right. And we're going to shake the ice and the salt together so that way the salt gets all over the ice. All right. You're going to be doing a lot of that, so get yeah. ready. Okay. All right. Now we're going to put our milk mixture. Close that. All right. And now comes the fun part. You're going to shake for 15 minutes. Okay. So I'm setting a timer on my phone, and we're going to start shaking. Do you want to start, or do you want me to start? I'll start. Okay. We're going to take turns.
done shaking, you can see it's a little wet. Thank you. You're welcome. It's a bit wet. Because there is a chemical reaction happening. And what is that, Miss Carolina? So the secret to this all working is that when we added the salt, we lower the melting point of the ice. So adding salt lowers the temperature at which water will melt or freeze. So when the ice melts, it has to take the heat energy from something else. So when it takes the heat from the milk mixture, it then causes the milk to freeze. And you're making our ice cream. All right. So we have ice cream here. It's hard yeah. to see. Miss Carolina's going to get our bowls. A little wet, a little messy. Okay. That. That. This. All right. Okay. And I am going to scoop some ice cream out here. Woo! Carolina. just made homemade vanilla ice cream. Yes. Mmm. That's good. Mm-hmm. And if you want to add some chocolate syrup, you can. If you like caramel or sprinkles, that's totally up to you. Very good. All right. So that is how you make your own ice cream. Ice cream. We will see you next time for another science ex STEM experiment. Bye. Bye.